What's up guys and welcome back uh, to House Flipper. I'm so excited to be back, man. This is easily one of my favorite series we have ever done on this channel. And not only are we back, but we've got some early access to the upcoming massive update, massive new HGTV DLC that's coming out a little over a week from now, I think on May 14th. So the devs reached out, they said, you know, hey, we've got an early access build. You can hop on, you can record, you can share it with people know that there might be a couple of little bugs and issues. We're still developing it. We're going to have a big patch on day one, but if you want to check it out, you can. And I said, of course, like this, like I said, this is one of my favorite series we've ever done. You guys really love it. And uh, I've been excited to have a reason to get back into it. So that's exactly what we're doing today. Hopping into our computer here, we are going to take a look at our map of jobs and voila, this is the brand new DLC neighborhood that we are going to be working with. Dude, this is pretty sick. All right. So it's, it's, uh, you know, sits on a beach. Looks like we've got some nice forested areas over here, kind of some bigger lots and properties back in the back. And then up here, you've got beachfront homes on stilts and stuff. And it looks like this is going to be our first project, a new beginning. Welcome to your first job in Sunset Bay. Are you ready to help John and Nicole renovate the house of their dreams? While the house is small, the view is amazing. You'll have to make some decisions when it comes to room arrangement. The shack under the house is especially problematic. Good luck. So they've got a budget of $6,500. Got two different choices and seven rooms. Interesting. Now I know there's this, this whole new thing about like choices. John, Nicole, I'm going to do my best. I hope, I hope you like my work. So we're, we're going to get into it here. So I think, uh, ooh, budget for the job. There's a specific budget defined for each job. There's the amount of money that the family is willing to spend on their dream house. Remember to stay within the budget while renovating. Uh oh, that's, that's a little bit concerning. I feel like 6,500 is, is not a whole lot, but we're going to go through here and we are going to clean this place up to start things off probably want to do a, a little bit of, of gardening as well. You know, get the, the lawnmower out and kind of pick up some of these weeds. This isn't cutting into their budget. I guess my, uh, I guess my actual, you know, working hours don't count for anything. Guess I'm not actually getting paid for being out here doing yard work. I don't really appreciate that, but I mean, if it's going to result in a, a better end product, then I'm down. I'm, I'm a, a proud guy. I stand behind my work, baby. So we're going to make sure this thing is flawless. A little bit of yard work is complete. I'm gonna worry more about it later. There's a lot more to do, but check this out, man. I kind of wanted to see see the house and see what we've got going on. So it looks like this is gonna be our main door. What is this thing here? This living room is definitely missing something. Old girl wants a TV. The room feels so empty without it. We can uh, add some decorations and carpet and a few potted plants. Or the guy wants a fireplace, can make this room feel more complete. Large corner electric fireplace will introduce a modern touch to an interior and make evenings even more pleasant. To be honest, I, I think in a beach house, like it should be about, you know, being outside, being in nature, like, you know, kind of being together. I don't think sitting in watching cartoons is the answer. We're gonna go with the fireplace. Are you sure about your choice? Absolutely. All right, so we made one choice there. It also looks like this place is a complete mess. So we're going to have to clean this up, fix it up. I mean, it is kind of, it, it, ooh, oh, this is actually a really nice tub and a, a, a washing machine in here. That's pretty cool. And then here's the master. Got a little sliding door out to the balcony. Okay. It, it's kind of small, but to be honest, for a beach house, what else do you need? Like I said, I don't think you're going to be spending too much time inside. You kind of want, uh, want to enjoy the outdoors. Let me see what we've got going on down here. This is our other room. Uh, this area is perfect for a sauna and a bathroom. Be great to head straight to the sauna after swimming all day at sea. I actually kind of like this, this chick. I like that idea. Uh, just cleaning up will suffice. It's a very capable storage room and maybe even suitable for a workshop. It could just use a chair. Now nah, we're going with the sauna. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go, you know, wim, women are, are always right. Okay, so let's let's get to work. Let's just start, uh, let's start cleaning this stuff up. Start selling, selling the other things that we don't need. Is this adding to our budget, I hope? It is adding to our budget. All right, we'll take it. Beautiful. The only thing I am a little bit worried about is the fact that we only have a, a very strict budget. So I think it's going to be fairly difficult to, to stay within that, you know, adding a sauna and all kinds of other stuff. I think we've got to be kind of careful here. I don't think we're going to be able to go all out like we used to on some of our other projects, but that's okay. I mean, that's just, that's a part of life. You know, we, we aren't the ones that are going to be living here. We are cleaning this up for other people. We need to stay within budget. That's what a good, uh, 
That's what a good a good contract he does. You know what I mean? In the bathroom, we honestly don't need anything at all. Dude, this thing is this thing is pretty nice. I like what they've done with it. So they've got kind of like a, a clean, modern, slightly luxurious look going on in the bathroom. That's something we might wanna wanna continue on throughout the rest of the house. This is a pretty cool little storage setup. We've got a little closet here. Okay. All right. I think the, the bedroom and the bathroom are done. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about these, so let's let's shut those two. This we could probably clean up a bit. I think I'm going to I'm going to sell these two things. I don't really like those. I feel like they don't fit. That looks pretty nice. The bench looks nice. I mean, this this could probably just be be turned a little bit. Bam, just like that. All right. So, we're going to need an electric corner fireplace. Let, let me let me see if we can if we can search this out. We're going to look for the fireplace, electric fireplace. Oh, dude, this thing is sick. It's 1400 bucks, but that looks pretty nice. And I think the I'm pretty sure the 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 setup they have for well we might want to go white, or should we go with like a, let's go with a light. Ooh, this is kind of tough. Let me let me see the let me see the rest of the room real quick. So we've got gray on the walls, white furniture, blue couch, and also some brown. I'm thinking we go white here. Let's go black there, and then metal. Probably probably a. Uh, we want dark or light. I like the dark. I think I think the white and the black is gonna look good. Or do we want? We could go with like a dark gray, or even a cream. Ooh, the snowy is pretty nice. We do have white granite in the kitchen, right? Well, the, oh no, that's that's. <laughs> I thought that was granite. It's dirt. <laughs> okay, we we don't want to we don't want to go with the granite. We're we're gonna stick with the flat colors. Bam. What do you guys think? That actually looks pretty nice. I like it. I guess we could have put it in that corner too. We might have to find something else that we're gonna have to put in these corners, but I feel like that looks good. We're definitely gonna wanna clean these windows. You got that that nice view out there of the ocean. You don't wanna have any smudges or, or fingerprints or you know dog dog lick marks on the windows or anything. That's that's a big thing that we have in our house. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna clean all these windows. Dude, this is honestly I, I kind of enjoy this part of the game, I'm not gonna lie. Just kinda kinda chilling. Enjoying ourselves. Oh, big tubble window. Uh-oh. Now we're getting kind of crazy. Look at this. Just beautiful. Oh, shoot. We missed a little spot. Just beautiful, long, streakless job here. Fantastic. Look at those rocks back in the background, dude. That is that is honestly that is honestly pretty beautiful. Okay. So, this place seems pretty clean. There's no window in the bathroom. Is there a window out here that we're going to have to clean? Nope. That's that's good to go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go downstairs. We're going to build this sauna, which is definitely going to eat up a lot of our budget. What do you guys think? I I would say probably bathroom when you first walk in, like think when you're coming back from the beach, you want to just kind of like, you know, hop in there, go to the restroom real quick without trudging through the house. That's a good idea. And then if you want to get into the sauna, that would be a glass door right here and kind of set up some sauna benches and stuff. Oh, actually, you know what? It already tells us what we should have in what room. You guys can see this one on our objectives is telling us that we want the sauna. This one's telling us we want the bathroom in here. Your boy's kind of smart because I had already planned that out in my head. So they want ceramic tiles and brown rectangles. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna take a look at our store. We're gonna take a look at, uh, at everything. We're gonna look at ceramic tiles, brown rectangles right here. Go ahead and buy many of these and we're gonna be able to just kind of Place these down, just like uh, just like so. So that's that's what they wanted. We want floor panel dark in here, so we're gonna buy this. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this through here, and along here. Then we're gonna go with the glass sauna door. We can buy this bad boy, and we're gonna want to uh, we're gonna want to throw this in here. Which way do we want it to open? Probably the way it's currently going, because it opens up against the wall. Boom, there it is. All right, so we've got a sauna door leading into the sauna. I like it so far. This is looking pretty good. Now we're gonna need our shower system, toilet system, and sink system. This is kind of a small bathroom, but we're, we're gonna make it work. Plumbing system's done. Now we're gonna actually need the shower. Now I'm curious, I know there's a ton of new items. Ooh, Eli corner shower, Olden shower, shower without a tray, mountable shower. Dude, this, this is pretty nice. I, I like these. Let me see what this, dude, that is sick. It's huge though is the problem. We, we aren't gonna be able to do that. We're gonna throw this down, throw the cap down. This is a totally new shower that I have not seen before. So we're hopefully, oh wow, that was, that was quick and easy. I'll take it. Nice little corner shower there. 
Do we have enough space for a toilet? I'm not sure. It's gonna be kind of hard to fit all this in. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm hoping we can put a toilet right here. So let's let's check out our, our plumbing first. We're gonna look for a toilet. Wow, there, there definitely are a lot of new a lot of new items in this game. All right, we're gonna buy this thing here. It looks like we are gonna be able to throw this back in the corner. Just trying to make the the most use of uh, of of the space that we have here. I'm thinking, I mean, nothing crazy, just kind of like a standard toilet. We, I mean, is this the cheapest? 53 bucks, 81, 53, yeah. 53 bucks, sounds good to me. So we're gonna go ahead and plant that right there. Let's assemble it. Go ahead and crank this thing into the ground, throw the tank on there, throw the seat and the lid on there. We've got a shower and a toilet. Finally, last but not least, we're gonna put our sink over here. So we're gonna wanna take a look at, uh, take a look at our sink options. Definitely gonna need to put the plumbing in first. It's looking pretty good to me. All right, we can we can throw it right there. So we're just gonna take these three pieces out, kind of like we did with the shower. What kind of a sink do we want to throw in here? Honestly, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be pretty simple. This is like that the the bathroom that you just go in to like quickly shower off, get the sand off you, that sort of thing. So it's it doesn't need to be fancy. Forty-seven dollar sink. We're gonna go ahead and uh, again we want to line this bad boy up, throw it in right like that. Let's go ahead and assemble it. Beautiful work here. Forgot some of the pieces that we're supposed to put on first and stuff. It's been a while since we played this game, dude. I'm so excited to be back, though. I'm so excited that we have a new a new thing to play, new new thing to grind for, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's gonna be amazing. All right, that's looking pretty good. There's our sink. So now I'm thinking, like, let's, let's maybe add a, a mirror. I do think we at least need a mirror in here. So let's check out our mirrors. Oh, rounded beach mirror. That's actually pretty dope. Could change our primary and secondary colors. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the red and white, kind of like a, a life ring. The metal on the inside. I'm thinking white. And let's uh, let's let's buy this thing, dude. That is sick. So we've got that. Now we're gonna be taking a look at our sauna. Let's see what we actually need in this sauna. So we're gonna want a scenic sauna heater, sauna bench, corner bench, bucket with a ladle, and a sauna lamp. All right. So let's just go into our uh, into our thing here. We're gonna look up saunas we're gonna want uh what all was it corner sauna bench sauna bench i'm thinking we go with kind of a, a bit of a darker wood here maybe something i guess the, the light wouldn't look bad either but we have light walls so i'm thinking i'm thinking the dark dark that dark dark stuff there all right, there it is. I like it. So we're gonna set this up in the corner over here, I believe. Next up, we're gonna need at least two sauna benches. I'm trying to decide which one I like. I I, I guess this this dark wood this dark wood works. So I'm gonna put a bench there, and then we're also gonna put a bench over here, and maybe one more bench. You know, we we at least gotta line one of the walls. You know what I mean? That that looks pretty good to me. Okay. Next up, we're gonna need uh, we need the bucket with the ladles, so we can just buy one of these and throw it up on the bench over here. It actually looks like they want a, a second corner bench, so we're gonna be able to put a second one over here. Let's make sure it, it lines up with everything. I guess we could kind of put it put it like well, I don't really want it like that. I guess we want it like that. All right. Doesn't look bad. It's weird that the, the lines kind of go into the wall like you're going to extend it. Obviously, we're not extending that, but we're okay. Now we need a heater and a lamp. So let's check out our, uh, let's check out our heaters. Ooh. Can I put the galac the galactic one in there? It's kind of expensive. We're, we're going to skip on that. So we're going to purchase this. We're going to put this heater in the corner by the door. Make sure you don't touch it because that thing is hot. And uh, finally, last but not least, we're going to want the, uh, the lamp. Well, oh, right here, sauna lamp. So we're gonna get this in this. Let's buy many, and I'm thinking we put, uh, let's put one in each corner. Let's put it about yay high. That actually looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, so the, uh, the, the chicks downstairs bathroom sauna thing is complete. Now we've gotta go upstairs. I kinda wanna complete their upstairs project. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing that we're, we're kind of doing extra. Like, I, for, for me, I like doing more. Maybe they'd appreciate it if you could come in under budget, but I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. It looks like we do have some some other things that we're gonna have to do. They wanna remove the chandelier with the bulbs, so we're gonna take that out. They wanna add a rectangular carpet, a spathelium, and a ball chandelier. Okay, sounds good to me. So let's, let's take a look here. We're gonna look for balls. Ball chandelier, this looks pretty nice. I'm thinking, uh, should we go white? Should we go, should we go darker? 
Should we go with like a gray, dark gray? I'm thinking something like this looks pretty nice. Kind of kind of keep that black coming in. They don't really have like, you know, they've got some brown and black and gray and then blue and then black and gray. And it, they don't really have a full on theme happening here, but we're, we're just gonna rock with it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's center this in the middle of the room. I'm thinking, you know, maybe back here a little bit. We could throw something like that. Maybe throw one up over here. I feel like this one could be a little bit more, a little bit more centered, but yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Let's see what this Trixel carpet looks like. Oh, all right. They want the rectangular carpet Trixel. So we're probably gonna add some blue in there. Do we wanna go white? I'm thinking we add blue. Let's, let's buy this. So we should probably, I mean, should we have it something like that? Do they want it more in the center of the, I mean, I, for me, I'd probably go with something like this, just to kind of put it, oh, you're running out of budget. That's not good. Uh-oh, we're, we're gonna be fine. And then we can center the coffee table with this thing. That looks that looks a little bit better. Okay, we've got that. And then we want the, the spath, I, I don't even, hopefully if I type in spath, we're still gonna be able to find it. Spathophyllum. So we're gonna grab this. I'm thinking like a blue, yeah, blue sounds good to me. And we're gonna buy at least a couple of these. So we can like, you know, throw one in the middle of the table. That's kind of big, I'm not gonna lie. Let's let's put it, can we put it up on top of this? Oh yeah. We're gonna put it centered up on top of this. That's gonna be kind of a nice spot for it. And then I'm thinking, do we gotta do something with this area right here? This is looking, this is looking super barren. Hopefully our clients don't mind me going completely off the walls here and just adding stuff that they didn't even ask for. Dude, there's so much new stuff. Ugh. This tempts me to just get rid of everything in here and add, add our own personal flair to it. You know what I mean? Dude, look at the, some of these chairs are so cool. We need something beachy though. I was thinking maybe some sort of a table or something. I guess we could go with a, a, a chair. Ah, I actually like where we're going with this. Check this out. It's a hundred bucks, but I feel like that's that's pretty nice. Fun little, little kind of hangout chill spot. It kind of matches all the blue we have going on. This, you know what? This this thing is hideous. We, we, gotta, we gotta get rid of this. I'm sorry. I think we're gonna have to go with the white. You know, I, I like I like the idea of, of mixing it up and going with the blue, but that it was just it was it was too ugly, dude. Center this coffee table again. a uh, little little off center. Gonna want it somewhere like that. Yeah, that, that looks better. So we've got that there. Maybe we could add hmm. What is this called? I feel like it doesn't match. Oh, we can make the bed. That's pretty nice of us. I'm just, I'm, I'm looking around. I'm trying to find another spot for this. I just don't love it. I feel like if we could tie in some of the other blues we've got going on here, it would look better. I, I'm, I'm trying to see if we could find a spot to put it like somewhere in here or something. I mean, we, I, we could just move it and not tell them. I feel kind of bad about that, but I just, I feel like it's kind of ugly. We could, this thing fits better down in the Sonic. Can I move this outside? Hold on, can we? We can move it outside. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing this outside. You know what, let's, can we can we take this down to the curb? Can we can we leave it out for the, the trash man when he comes tomorrow? We're, we're gonna set this out by the curb because that thing is, is hideous. So we're gonna want some sort, what would that count as, like a cupboard? Some sort of thing to be able to set your stuff down. I'm also thinking maybe we put our second potted plant on there. But we need to find something nice and beachy. I just, I, I feel like I, it was a cool piece, just the colors weren't right. You know, I think something like this is is gonna look a little bit better. I, I feel like that that definitely just fits the vibe more. I like bringing in the blue. Could even buy a second one and kind of line them up like that. You know, I feel like that gives us a little bit more storage. And then hopefully we're gonna be able to put this uh, this spath plant, spath, spathilium. We're gonna throw this thing on there. Oh, you could change the color of the, the flowers too, but I think I think that looks good. Can we throw this thing up there? Shoot, it's not gonna fit. It fits if you bring it out a little bit from the wall. We we may, let's let's just, let's bring these things out from, from the wall a little bit. I feel like this is gonna look pretty nice. You know, I'm not I'm not crazy about the placement. All right, we're, we're gonna take this spath. We're gonna put it over here in the corner of the kitchen. I do feel like that looks kind of nice. Add some, some you know, bright and airy vibes to it and then we're we're going to move this stuff back. I like this I like this better instead of that that hideous brown. I like the idea that it was a cushion, but I, I didn't like the color. I do like that better. 
but I just I didn't I didn't like the plane is so big bro that thing is massive all right so we've got that I'm kind of feeling like this wall is a little bit barren and I've got an idea for it so we're gonna look for uh, we're gonna look for mirrors we're gonna stick with this beach theme along with the blue so we're gonna look for blue primary should we go should we go teal is that too is that too bright that might be a little bit too bright hmm we don't really have like a perfect matching blue to some of our other stuff so I think I think we're just gonna go with the blue Let's buy this. We're gonna set it up on this wall, just like uh, just like so. That looks pretty nice. I'm trying to see if there's any any other spots that we could kind of improve upon. We've got sixteen hundred dollars left in the budget. You know, there's a reason why they hired us, man. They they, they trust our judgment. So I'm 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 trying to see I'm trying to see what else we can add. I I think down here is is pretty much a wash. Kind of an kind of an ugly section. I'm I'm not gonna lie. You know what? We could. Honestly, it kind of fits pretty well. We could probably move this down here and give you a little spot to, to hang out and like dry off after your shower. There we go. I like that. So we've got that there. I mean, we could potentially add a couple of paintings in here. I don't know if there's really much else in terms of furniture. I just realized, can we put this up here? That would have been a cool spot for it, but we can't. Sometimes you don't want to overdo it. Sometimes they're going to be happy if you stay under budget. So I guess, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this. I do feel like that is kind of barren. This wall is kind of barren. But overall, I, I think we did a pretty good job. Some little things that we're going to tidy up here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's clean up these chairs a bit. These guys are looking a, a bit out of place. You know, you got to... You gotta clean up your, your dining space after you're done eating. Is this one? All of these are just a little bit off. Okay, there we go. We've got that. I'm thinking, can we can we mow this can we mow this lawn? The lawn's looking a little little unkempt here. Let me see. Do we even have? I don't I don't. No, it's locked. They aren't gonna let us mow it. They aren't gonna let us do any sort of yard work. I guess we picked all the weeds and, and that's about all we can do. Kind of like this this sofa here. It's got a nice blue theme to it. What kind of a, of wood do we want? I'm, I'm thinking we go white all the way around. We can have some some white pillows as well. Primary and secondary. Let me let me see how this looks. I mean, this, this is pretty nice to have outside. Kind of a little loungy spot for you. So we've got that. We could even have, I think there's a matching chair that we can grab, the Soros armchair. So we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do the same thing here. You want to go outside and read a book and and watch the ocean. You're gonna have that available to you. Trying to see if there's anything else here. We could we could buy them some uh, we could buy them some some sun loungers. You know, obviously living next to the beach, you're gonna want to be able to bring these things down to the beach. So I'm gonna go with the the light blue. And maybe have these uh, have these laying out ready to go. We're just kind of we're kind of wasting. <laughs> the money at this point so I'm gonna I'm gonna lay some loungers out here you know obviously when you walk down to the beach you want to have these handily available so we got a few loungers there ready to go and I think at this point like I said we're just kind of wasting their money so I think we're gonna call it a wrap not the the largest house didn't have that much that we could like make decisions on but it was a good start I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident in it so let's uh let me let me complete our job here bam there it is they're photographing photographing the apartment and uh, let's let's see how we did look at this we've got all of our before and afters it's kind of a small space so it's kind of hard to tell what's going on but I like the look of it if they could have given us a bit bigger budget dude they had a really nice yard we could have put a pool in there we could have done all kinds of stuff but uh, I, I, I like that you know for a first introductory job I feel like we did a pretty a pretty good job. New house unlocked. Complete each order to unlock new houses for purchase and renovation. Check your laptop in the office to see which houses are available for purchase. Hold on a second. So since we did that, let me go to our browser. No. Well, yes, it is there. The stilt house. So now we could actually buy that house and renovate it to our complete desire. That's that's pretty cool. So we're, we're gonna go through the HGTV DLC and then maybe we'll choose some of our favorites and we'll go back and and you know make them to, to our our design, which is, is pretty nice. But now we can take a look at our map of jobs. That one's done. Looks like we've got one over here. We've got a large one here towards the middle. Okay, so we've got new jobs on the horizon. People heard about the great work we did here on the Stilt House, and they want us to keep on trucking. So I'll see you guys in our next episode. We're going to take on our next job. If you guys want it sooner rather than later, you guys know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe, 
Make sure you turn that, that bell on so you never miss a video, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.